Path Projects has been making some of my favorite running shorts. Their pockets are big enough for real life utility and they are made well enough to limit bounce. And now they've made a pant. This is the Path Projects Killem PS. Seven point one six miles, nine minutes, eleven seconds per mile, and one hundred and thirty three beats per minute today on a kind of a windy day here in Chicago. Conditions were pretty intense, but I thought it would be a great time to test out the new pant from Path Projects, the Killam PX. Now, before I tell you about this new pant, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a pair of pants that was sent to me for the purpose of review, and I've done a lot of work with Path Projects in the past, reviewing some of their previous collections, and also we've done some collab shirts together like this one non-elite cascade short sleeve shirt that I'm wearing now. So there is quite a bit of history between me and Path Projects, but they're not paying me to make this video or to wear these pants, and they're not gonna get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the Path Projects pant, the Killam PX. First, let's go over some specs. These pants have a relaxed fit kind of around the the hips and around the waist, and they taper at the calf. That's kind of like my favorite pant style to wear. It kind of reminds me of kind of like soccer warm-ups uh, where there's just a lot of room uh, in the hips and in the thighs, uh, but then it's almost like tight at the bottom. Kind of a mullet of a pant where it's uh, business in the calves and party in the crotch. That's a terrible way to think about pants. But uh, it's a fit that I like and some of my favorite kind of joggers and track pants that I wear all kind of follow that same pattern. So I'm very excited to see that same fit here. The fabric is made out of the Torre Prime Flex. It's a spiral yarn polyester that has some natural stretch in it uh, that makes it flexible and strong without having to resort to using Lycra or any kind of spandex in the material. They've got a fantastic number of pockets. It's kind of a mix of my two favorite Path Project shorts. There's one pair of shorts that has three pockets, a phone pocket, and then two kind of like, I would say like kidney pockets, like right on the back. And then there's another pair of shorts that has a back pocket and then two like front kind of like regular pockets. These pants combine that and it has five pockets where it's got regular kind of like pocket pockets that you would expect. And then it has three pockets along the back, one that's in the center, big enough for my iPhone 11 Pro with case. And then two that flank it, one on each side that are big enough for even my biggest shells, the Science and Sport, uh, or anything like the Martin, just for size comparison, you could see how much taller that is. Both of these fit in the Path Project shorts in the rear pocket just fine. Although this one, you kind of have to like bend over the top of it just because it is a rather long gel. So the pockets fit everything really nicely. And I think that's kind of like the main draw for me with a lot of the Path Projects stuff is that like, it's all very thoughtfully made. It's made for people that are going to be running and spending a lot of time out there running. So I really love the way that these pockets are laid out. So you can easily pack in two gels, one on each side. You could probably pack in two gels in each of those back pockets. You could pack more in the front if you needed to. There's also a uh, key 
pocket on the interior side on the front right uh, that's big enough for like a regular sized car key. So your keys aren't gonna be taking up one of the valuable pockets that you might be using for stuff that you want to be able to reach during your run. And I do really appreciate that there's still a separate car key pocket because a car key is not something that I'm gonna need during my run. I really dislike it when I have to share pockets with things that I'm not gonna need during the run with things that I will be like pulling out during the run like a gel. So like if I'm pulling a gel out and there's just many gels in a pocket, if I accidentally pull one extra thing out, I'm down a gel. But if I accidentally pull my keys out somewhere on a trail or somewhere on the road, that's a really big problem. So I do love to be able to kind of sequester certain things in special pockets, just like they've done in this pant. Now the material also is a lot like the material in my favorite Path Project shorts. And so it's that Torre Prime Flex. It does a really great job of repelling liquids. Uh, it also quick dries and it's also stretchy. So lots of things to really enjoy about this. It's basically like they just took those shorts and made them longer. And so that way I can keep wearing the Path Project stuff that I love in the summer and in the fall. And I can keep wearing it now into the fall and even into the winter. Now these aren't lined pants. And so like they aren't the most like loungeably soft pants in my opinion. Uh, and so that's where it feels a little bit more like a track pant to run in than it feels like kind of like a jogger. But I think that also can be a good thing depending on the kind of conditions that you're running in. I had some cold and windy and wet conditions and so i felt like this type of material where it's kind of almost like a like a rain shell or like a water resistant shell uh, that worked out really well there were certainly certain points where like you know didn't matter how waterproof or water resistant what i was wearing is going to be i was going to get wet and i definitely did uh, but to the extent that i was out there in kind of windy slash wet conditions I feel like this is the kind of pant that you really want to be having. Uh, and on days where it's gonna get colder, you can also pair it with some of the Path Project's base layers. Now, they sent me a couple of different base layers and the way that the base layers work for Path Project's, at least with the shorts, is that none of their shorts are lined and said that you can pair base layers with the shorts and the base layers are like running underwear. And now normally I wear the Torch series. Those are the ones that have like the most ventilation and the most perforation. They're designed for summer. They also make an all season uh, base layer and this is the Tahoe five inch. It's a little bit longer for the summer. I like the three inch base layer, but for when things get a little bit cooler, I do like this five inch and I've been wearing them in the past before I wore them last winter. These are so incredibly soft and the amazing thing about them is the more I wash them, the softer they seem to get. So like they're good out of the package, they get better with more use. And one thing that Path Project definitely knows how to do, if you look at like the t-shirts for example, is they know how to make a very soft, comfortable product. They also make like a full length, kind of like long john level base layer as well. And this is also the Tahoe, but it's the Tahoe full length. And so if you want to have that incredibly soft material all the way throughout uh, and also bring an extra layer of warmth, then you can get the full length base layer. I've been absolutely loving running in the Killen PX. I've taken it out for a couple runs already. Both times conditions weren't exactly balmy out there. So they can definitely hold up to the elements. And I think this is a pant that I'm going to be able to wear well into the fall and into the winter as well, combining it with some of these base layers which is something that I normally do with a lot of my other jogging pants as well. So those are my thoughts on the Killam PX pant. This is definitely gonna get a lot of use in my rotation. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or better yet, feel free to stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. I'd love to talk to you guys in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?